Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you this tablet that I was sent by Gaumon to try out. And it's sort of perfect timing because I have an old travel size Wacom tablet that is on its last legs. It keeps crashing Photoshop and I know that it's the tablet that's doing it. Um, it's basically nearly unusable and so this replacement is coming at the perfect time. I've always been interested in cheaper tablet brands but because Wacom was stocked in stores near me I basically never never felt like trying it and I also don't mind spending a little bit more on my art because obviously it's my job. So today I get to try out this Gaumon S620 battery-free graphic tablet which is fine by me. I don't really like when tablets are Bluetooth. I find they get a little more uh, screwy as they get older. I've had Bluetooth tablets before, so I prefer the wired ones, so this is perfect for me. And here it is just coming out of the box, all the little bits and pieces that come with it. There's even a glove that you can wear to keep your, your finger oils off of the, off of the tablet. I'm not going to use it, it doesn't really fit me, and I've never had really like a gliding problem, I guess. It also has this little case for the pen, which I really appreciate, it makes it harder to lose the pen. Uh, I had a problem the other day where I put my pen, my pen tablet away with my markers and we didn't know where it was and that was really dumb because it was the same size, right? So this makes it easier not to lose that and the tablet is a very good size. I, this, it's, it's basically the exact same size as the portable tablet that uh, is dying and I'm getting rid of. You can see that pictured here. I believe this is the Wacom pen and draw cartoon or illustrator or something i i forget i always in my head it's a wacom bamboo but it's not actually a, a bamboo so anyway now i have this brown new gaumon and i'm just installing the driver here and playing around with a bit of the settings just seeing how the pressure sensitivity is and assigning the keys where i want them um, i like to use my pen tablet uh, the clicker on the side for the right mouse button um, and I assigned the keys at the top to brush eraser and then increase and decrease size for Photoshop because I'm going to be using it mainly in Photoshop and here it is uh, me testing it out in Photoshop and if you see any lag, if you can notice any lag in this, that's only because I'm recording my screen. Uh, it's nothing to do with the tablet. When I record my screen, my computer gets all slow because it's just a laptop. It's not too powerful. Uh, but I'm trying it out on, on the screen for you here, and frankly, I have zero complaints. It even does the brush rotation uh, that other tablets do, and... I'm just, I'm excited to have another travel size tablet around. I don't really have anything bad to say about this. The price is really good. Uh, it fluctuates a little bit, but Canadian on Amazon, it's usually about $39 or $49, somewhere around there. Uh, whereas a comparable Wacom is about $100. So this will fit perfectly into my workflow and yeah, if you're looking for a cheap tablet, try out this Gaumon, if you please. And thank you so much to Gaumon for sending it my way. Again, perfect timing, and I like it. Now I'm going to cut to a funny clip where I try it on my phone, because that's what the little adapters are for. I read it in the instructions. You can plug this into your phone and use it on your phone which is kind of crazy. I don't know if I did it right, but um, here you go. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my God, that's trippy. Is that cool? Yeah, that's crazy. What? It puts a little cursor on my phone. This, I what? <laughs> What? It puts a little cursor on my phone. Whoa, okay, what? so I can click this and now I can select computer? blue and 
draw on it, but it's, ooh, it's distorted. That's tricky. Okay. Because <laughs> it's tall? Yeah, because it's tall. I think it's just the way, like, my phone is. Maybe it thinks it's sideways. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, though. Well, turn it sideways. I mean, no, it still thinks it's... <laughs> That's weird as well. Yeah. Well, anyway, it says in the in the instructions that it'll switch to just this little area to draw on your phone. It's probably just a problem with my phone. Um, but that's also pretty cool. I've never known of a tablet that can do that. Even Finn thinks it's cool. <laughs>